Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, we're going to see how to set up Visual Studio Code for C Sharp in Godot 4. A word of caution here, if you're using Godot 4 point something with C Sharp, then you won't be able to export your game to Android, iOS, and to web platforms. So if you're planning to build a game for any of these platforms, then you'll have to use Godot 3. I'll leave a link to the initial documentation in the description. So you can just keep an eye out in case something changes in the future. To use C Sharp, you need the Godot.NET engine. So if you downloaded the regular engine, you'll have to go back and download the Godot.NET version. Don't worry if you've created a new project already. The Godot.NET version also works with the GD script. So it will be supporting both GD script and C Sharp. So you can just download and start working with your old project. After this, go ahead to code.visualstudio.com and download Visual Studio code. So I am in Windows, so I'll be downloading Windows version. So if you're in Linux, you can just click the arrow here and select the Linux version. And if you're in Mac, then you can download the Mac version. Then we'll be needing the .NET 7 SDK. Make sure you select your OS. And if you're in 64 bits, then download 64 bit. If you're in 32 bit, then download the 32 bit version. So make sure you download the SDK and not the runtime. So once the download is complete, uh, there's no installation required for Godot. It just runs from the exe. So just extract the zip file and you can start Godot. So you can just go ahead and install Visual Studio Code and .NET. Both the installations are fairly simple. Just follow the instructions and it will get installed. So once you're installed, first open up Visual Studio Code. You need to add some extensions here. So click on the extensions button here. The first thing, extension that you'll need is the C Sharp from Microsoft. Then you will require the C Sharp Dev Kit. This is required to run and debug from Visual Studio Code itself. And once you install C Sharp and C Sharp Dev Kit, the Visual Studio Code will also install .NET Runtime. So this will be installed in the background, so you don't have to do anything. So all this installation will take somewhere between two to 10 minutes. So once all these are complete, you can just close the Visual Studio Code Editor and then fire up the Godot Editor. Inside Godot Editor, go to Editor, Editor Settings, and scroll down to the end where you find .NET Settings. And under Editor, Make sure you select Visual Studio Code as your external editor. Then we'll create a new C Sharp script. So select any node that you want and right click, say attach script. Let's call it node.cs. And make sure you select the language as C Sharp and then click create. So in Godot, you can basically have a mix and match of GD script and C Sharp. So you don't have to worry whether you're using C Sharp or GD script. So as you can see, the script was opened in Visual Studio Code and all the GD scripts which are already there inside will be opened inside the Godot engine itself and not with Visual Studio Code. If you want to use VS Code for GD script also, we'll be seeing that in a new video and we'll be uploading it soon. Once the script is open in Visual Studio, you can just go to any function and see if the IntelliSense is working. You can type input dot is. So you can see these are all Godot functions and it is working. So now Godot is integrated with VS Code and you can start typing your code. But if you want to run and debug from Visual Studio Code, then you need two more files. One is the launch.json, the other one is the task.json. To create these files, just click on the run and debug option on the left bar. Then you will have an option to create a launch.json file. So click create launch.json and select .NET Pi Plus and .NET Core. So this will create a default template file delete all the warnings so we don't need them then under program replace the string with the path to godot editor so in my case it's in downloads so you can just right click and say copy address and go back to visual studio and go here and paste so if you are in windows this forward slash need to be changed to backward slash in the whole thing and also you need to specify the file name after this so just say rename copy the file Okay, go there, use a backward slash, paste it, dot exe. So now you can just save this file, click on run and debug again. And here on the top, you'll have an option to select the type of debugger. So select .NET Core Launch and click on the play button here. So it will say it cannot find a task file. So make sure you click on configure task and here select create task.json from template. And under these options, select .NET Core. You don't need to make any changes to this. You can just leave it as it is. 
So now if you go to run and debug and click on the play button here, VS Code will launch the game directly from Visual Studio Code and you don't have to go to Odoo Editor to launch the game. And you can also place debug points just by clicking here and place debug points. So you can debug your game directly from VS Code. So that's it. You have linked Visual Studio Code and Godot. If you have any questions or if you're having any issues with the linking, you can leave them in the comment box below. Thank you and see you in the next tutorial.